Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go into the treatment of congestive heart failure, starting out with the fact that you need to treat the cause of the heart disease, the underlying causes that lead to heart failure, and then some of the lifestyle modifications that need to be treated, as well as some of the symptoms that need to be treated in order to keep the patient out of the hospital. So because uh, congestive heart failure is a multifactorial disease, each patient will have their own individual cases um, assessed and their underlying conditions will have to be treated individually. So for instance, a very common cause of heart disease is hypertension or high blood pressure and that is when you have too much pressure on the walls of the uh, blood vessels so that can lead to damage as we mentioned in our previous videos. Um, that can lead to a lot of damage. So one of the ways to, de to deal with that is by decreasing the amount of blood volume in your blood. So instead of having a whole lot of blood that's putting pressure on the walls of the vessel, you get rid of some of that blood volume and you get, get it down to a more manageable amount. So you have, instead of that, huge amount of blood you'll have a more manageable amount of blood and the way that's done is a drug called a diuretic so let's make that blue. diuretics help to release release um, the fluid that's in the blood and decrease the amount of total fluid in the blood so that's one way to treat hypertension you can also uh, make the blood vessel walls a little bit more relaxed. So, if again, you have too much blood or too much pressure on the walls of the vessel, then instead of releasing some of the fluid in the blood, you can just make the vessels themselves relax a little bit, and that will, in general, make them a little bit bigger. So, We'll have, let's see, we'll have bigger vessels. Let's get rid of these. Instead of our previous vessel, we'll have a larger vessel, and the same amount of blood will be flowing through it, but it won't be putting pressure on the sides of the, of the blood vessel. So these blood vessels will be a lot happier and will be less damaged and therefore um, less likely to lead to heart failure. Some of the drugs that can help the vessels to relax a little bit are uh, ACE inhibitors, ACE inhibitors, and beta blockers, beta blockers. Okay, so some other underlying conditions that lead to heart failure include uh, coronary heart disease. Let's make this a different color so we can tell it apart. Coronary heart disease is generally when you have uh, some blockage in the vessels, the coronary arteries, the arteries that actually supply and feed the heart. So when that happens, then the heart itself isn't getting enough nutrients and oxygen and therefore it can't function very well. So, so treatments for coronary heart disease are generally surgical in nature. You have a lot of surgeries that will open up the, um, the coronary vessels. They'll ways to go in and kind of open them up so that blood will flow through them and go back to the heart and, and supply the heart. You can also bypass the coronary vessels so if you have one vessel that's blocked up um, with fat, with, uh, with cholesterol and fat, instead of going through that vessel you'll just add an additional vessel or find another way to get the blood around that block, blocked vessel to the heart. 
Finally, similar to coronary heart disease, valvular disease, or diseases of the valves of the heart, have to be treated through surgery. Some of the same lifestyle modifications to treat congestive heart failure are those that people who want to protect their heart and live a healthy lifestyle in general need to make. So, for instance, alcohol restriction is important to people with congestive heart failure because um, alcohol can directly damage the heart in large amounts if it's consumed in large amounts. Smoking cessation because the carcinogens in smoke can do a whole lot of damage. They can damage the heart directly, they can damage the vessels, the blood vessels, making your blood vessels more likely to, uh, to help form clots, um, which can be bad for your cardiovascular system in general. Uh, weight reduction is important as well, because that will be less stress on the heart, less that the heart has to pump against, and there's less likely, a lower likelihood of building up clots and um, having blockages in someone who's not obese. Also, salt restriction is important for someone suffering from congestive heart failure because a high salt diet can lead to high blood pressure, which is not good as well. In order to keep patients out of the hospital, it's important, it's important to also treat the symptoms of congestive heart failure. And these often include decreased perfusion. So the fact that, as we mentioned before, the the heart isn't able to pump enough blood to the rest of the body. Um, this decreased perfusion, decreased pumping of fluid can be treated with digoxin, which slows the heart down, allowing, to, allowing it to fill up properly and increases the contractility of the heart. So it will allow the ventricle to fill up fully with blood and contract fully and you know, squeeze all of the blood out into the systemic circulation. Another symptom that, symptom that needs to be treated in order to keep patients out of the hospital is fluid buildup. So because the heart is normally not pumping, because the heart is not normally pumping enough blood to the rest of the body, blood ends up being backed up or build, building up or congested, as the name implies, in places it's not supposed to go. And as we mentioned before, it can build up in the lungs and other places and so the diuretics help to relieve that strain and that pressure on organs like the lungs by helping the patient to pee out a lot of the fluid that's in their blood. Congestive heart failure is a very complex disease so much more of the treatment that's involved in uh, dealing with the patients that have congestive heart failure is outside of the scope of this video but I hope you learned a little bit about congestive heart failure and I'd like to thank you for watching.